Hi, this is Mark Patterson, University Ombuds for Cal State University Channel Islands with a quick conflict management tip, idea, trick you might try yourself in thinking about. In this case, conflict in the workplace around irrational behavior. But let me start with a story. So last fall, I was on a bike ride. I like to ride for exercise and was on a two lane, uh, four lane divided road heading up a hill. And as I was heading up the hill, I noticed a runner coming towards me in the bike lane, not on the sidewalk, but in the bike lane. Was a little bit surprised, but I have a run too and know it's easy to trip on sidewalks, so didn't think much about it. And as I approached and was beginning to look over my shoulder, the runner started swearing up a blue streak at me. I mean, I could see his face was red, fury. And he said, I am not going to F and get out of your way ever and just blew up and I was totally flabbergasted because it said at the time I was actually beginning to try to move over but I was looking over my shoulder because I didn't want to get hit by a car as I was passing into the road but this was on my mind for hours it was hard to get past and I found myself imagining scenarios where I could go back and stop and tell the cyclist look buddy you've got a sidewalk you can easily go onto it for a little while get back into the bike lane when I pass don't make me go into traffic but of course I didn't do that and wonder what would have happened if I did. Would that have changed his mind? Would that have changed the way he went about his runs? My guess is probably not. But how could I have approached the situation if I didn't have the ability to just ride on or say in more current circumstances, I'm choosing to wear a mask in a public setting and somebody as happened to a friend of mine starts yelling at me for wearing a mask because I'm not helping anybody. It doesn't work. And, giving in to state fear, any number of things you can be confronted with that seem completely, to your frame of mind, irrational. Let me share a screen with you with some ideas about how you might change that dynamic when you can't simply ride away. When you're faced with an irrational appearing situation, the key is to ask yourself three questions. To in a sense, look at the irrational behavior, whether it's swearing at you for riding in a bike or swearing at you in a meeting for saying something that completely seemed innocuous to you. Ask, what is it they really want? What is this behavior and expression of in their needs? It may not be coming out in their language and may not even understand themselves. In many ways, this does require a certain amount of poise and deep breathing even are tools that can help you find your center, but asking yourself the question, what is it that they're really asking for here? In my case, riding the bike, it wasn't really about perhaps me intimidating him on the bike, of course, is what he felt I was trying to do, but simply trying to claim that he has a right to be safe just as much as I do in, in his running. So addressing perhaps his need for safety and equal space. Next, asking yourself, and, and I should say also in the sense that if you really have no idea what they might be wanting, you don't have to be right. You don't have to be right. Simply imagine some reason that may be going on that they're trying to address in this what appears to be international behavior. Then consider what is stopping them in their minds from being able to obtain it. Any case where you can imagine what might they perceive as a blockage gives you an opportunity to ask a question what can i do to address that so if it's somebody who is swearing at you for wearing a mask in a public space and they're talking about you wasting time doing something that only increases fear say i sense that you are feeling fear in this situation from uncertainty what can i do to help and they may continue swearing, but it has the power to potentially diffuse that highly irrational situation and move into problem solving. Thanks. And again, if you have any further questions, you're always welcome as a Channel Islands employee to contact the University Ombuds for help and guidance in dealing with your workplace conflict.